How's it going my battle squad? It's Michael here and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. Last episode we took on the 7th gym leader Calwreath and then Zenith and his squad of the Infernal Cult made an announcement on the TV in the big city and I guess it was illegal to do that but anyways he did it and basically told the entire town to turn like turn against the gym leader and stuff so now they all want to fight him and next thing you know he's gone from that city and anyways yeah, we got all the way here, we couldn't get anywhere, and the next thing you know it, we get a message from Tane, and, you know, the people from Perfect Perfection went to the black market, went to their little fighting place, they stole DNA from us, basically the game made us, and yes, they made Mewtwo, we had to fight Tane with not only Kyurem, but with Mewtwo, and anyways, it was absolutely nuts, but anyways, we're back here, because they said now we can actually go here now, so let's talk to Nora, they're not here yet, I've been waiting for ages, what if they don't show, what if Rukurai, there's the second one. Oh, there they are. Damien! Let's get down to business. You need us to get up the mountain, and we need the shards of the auger's crystal. So if we... Oh, uh, no! Absolutely not! We can't do that! What do you know about the crystal? Uh, I mean... I'm not asking you to get it for us. We just don't want it in Zenith or Persephone's hands. Once it's in your hands or anyone else's, we acquire it easily. I... Okay, we're not pushovers, you know. Mm-hmm. Go, Damien. Disguise yourself. Go through the checkpoint and get this over with. Whoa! Hey, looks normal. Let's see. Um, okay. Perfect, that ladder should get you up and down the mountain without having to go through the checkpoint. He was your friend, right? He doesn't talk much anymore. I'm sorry if we caused you pain, but he's happier now. Are you controlling him? Did he choose to leave us? I didn't say he chose, but he's happier. Oh, okay, so... Alright, if he's really happy like that, then I'll leave him. If it hurts, but it would be the right thing to do, but... It has to be his choice, I need to know if he, if this is what he wants. I just can't abandon him, I swear, I'm gonna find him and I'll get him to talk. But for now, let's go show these cultists how to actually cure a disease. Alright, let's do it. I don't know, I desperately need a better clo a better closing one-liner. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, let's go up this uh, mountain here. Mount Rose. Hey! Let's get the quartz flute out, and we're gonna go for the seed flare. And we'll fix all this water. There we go. So we'll get going here, and, um, how do I... Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, uh, how do I get through here? Okay, so... We got through that. Nice. Is there anything around here that's worth checking out? Okay, so it looks like this might be the way to go, right? No, it takes us behind here. Oh, alright. Never mind. Alright, so we have these rocks here, like little moss rocks. I'm not sure if we need those, if they do something, or just there for decoration. Probably for decoration. Anyways, I just hit the speed up button. Which, by the way, I forgot that was in this game. I realized it once I started training. I, I accidentally hit the shoulder button, and you actually can speed up. But I'm not going to do that in a traditional, like, sense while I'm actually playing through the game. Mainly because, yeah, it kind of ruins the whole point of, like, it, I mean, it doesn't ruin the whole point of the game, but it definitely, definitely ruins some enjoyment, you know? But, anyways, here we go, Pashirisu, we'll go out to Vulcan, which, by the way, I still need to put the Life War back on it. You know, I'll, I'll do that the, after this battle. I'll do it. This time, I'll remember. So, we'll go for the Flamethrower. So, let's see, can we take out Pashi? Nope, but it's going to go for Hyper Fang, which doesn't do a whole lot, so... Whatever. Pashirisu is down, Vulcan level 73, and now it's time for Minin. Yeah, I never was a fan of any of these Pokemon. Yeah, at one point I thought they were going to be good. I thought maybe like it was like a different kind of Pikachu when I first played like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and I started using it, and then I found out it didn't evolve, and I was like, oh, this thing's going to be trash, and then I got rid of it. So, anyways, yeah, there's that. Nice little uh, story while we were going through that battle, but now it's time to add the Life Orb back onto Typhlosion. So... Let's see, where is it at? I mean, we could put the charcoal on it. You know, let's just put the charcoal on it. I kind of am not feeling the recoil damage at this point. It does take a lot of potions, so maybe in the future. I don't know. Hey, we got this guy. I love hiking. I've been exploring this gorgeous mountain all day. That's wonderful. Let's see, we got Indiana Jones. Ruin Maniac Harry, and he has a Gigalith. Uh, that's a nice matchup for us. I like it. So, Aqua Tail. I don't think we'll knock it out, though. It does have Sturdy. Like I expected. Oh, here we go. Explosion. 
Oh, we live! Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you so much, Jake, for being bulky. Okay, Relicanth, well, we'll go out to Pudding. Just go for the Solid Grass-type attack, and that thing will be completely devastated. And then we should be all set. Leaf Blade, you're gonna yawn us. Great. I'm not pleased, but we can live with it. Quad effective, come on. There we go, crit. I don't even know if it was if it was absolutely necessary to get the crit, but I will take the crit any day. Crits are wonderful. I can't wait to explore the rest. All right, let's see. So we're gonna have to heal up Jake. Oh, hyper potion. There we go. And let's get moving. Actually, let's throw some. Let's throw thunder thunderbolt up at the top. So there we go. Get him some screen time too. And let's get moving! We got this fighting guy. My favorite type is fighting. Oh, couldn't tell. Let me just show you why that is. Alright, let's see. You probably got Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, Hitmontop. Most likely, three Pokemon. How did I guess that? Oh, wait. Usually that's like the main Pokemon that are given to like fighting people that say, I just love fighting Pokemon. There's why. Yeah, okay. So Hitmonlee, that's... It's nice to see these Pokemon, but I knew they were coming. It wasn't even like, it wasn't even a surprise. So let's see. Okay, Thunderbolt level 74, Hitmonchan, alrighty. Well, let's go into something else. Let's go into Phantom. And I kind of feel like Mega, just going for the Mega up here for the Mega Charizard. And we'll just go for the Shadow Ball. I mean, it could go for some ice punches. I guess that could happen, but you know, I'm. I think we can one-hit KO this thing. We can do it. It does have some good special defense, though, for being a pretty offensive Pokemon. Hitmonchan. Yeah, it's gonna go for ice punch. All right, great. Oh, that did a lot of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. But okay, we're gonna shadow sneak it. I don't know if it has like vacuum wave or something, but yet again, it wouldn't be very effective. I forgot about that. So whatever, doesn't matter. Let's see, Sock. Oh, you don't have a, you don't have a, what's the hit on top? That's what it is. Okay, that's nice. Oh, you have Quick Guard. But it failed. That's wonderful. Shadow Ball is gonna KO. Yeah, it lives with Sturdy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's okay. We'll just go for Sneak, Shadow Sneak, and that should be it for this thing. And there we go. See you, Sock. And that's it for Carl. I just got my poop pushed in. Dang, you're good. Wow. Never heard that in a Pokemon game before. <laughs> All right. Let's go into the Mount Rose. I don't even know. I, let's spray Repel. Actually, I kind of want to see what's in here. So maybe we'll just not use a potion. Let's see. Is there... Or not a potion. Uh, whatever. The uh, Repel. Let's see. Ooh, a Starmie. That's pretty cool. Let's take it out for experience. Let's try going for thunder in a cave. And we actually land. Sweet. And we knock it out for some tasty experience. Sweet. I don't get the logic behind that, but still, whatever. At least if you're outside, you can, you know, go for thunder. I mean, technically, you don't have to have a thunderstorm to have lightning. Just odds are you won't see it ever happen without thunderstorm, but still. Oh, come on. Ooh, an Ursa Ring. That's pretty neat. But we'll run away and we'll fight this painter, this artist. Let me paint a picture of you. I want to capture your beautiful battling skill in an art piece. Okay, let's see. I want to see your so-called art. Let's see. We got Pablo. Okay, we got a Weezy. Okay. Okay, should I even test it? Let's go for Thunder. Can we hit? No, of course not. No, that's not going to happen. Destiny Bond. Oh, that's not cool. I hate that. Okay. Let's go to Cleaver. Please don't go for Destiny Bond anymore. That's not cool at all. Belch. But it failed. Alright, I'm not sure what that does, but it's a new attack. Psycho Cut. Come on, crit. Nope. Uh, wait a minute. Who went for Destiny Bond, that explosion? Does that mean that I go down with it? No. Okay. 
Now that would suck. Okay. Uh, Hippowdon. Let's Jake. Let's Jake it up here. So, Sandstorm. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Fun stuff. Let's see. Aqua Tail, we hit. Probably won't knock it out though, it has a lot of HP. Nope. Double Edge, possibly we could kill it. Nope, of course not. No, that's not gonna happen. Nope, 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 not. No, the recoil is just not as great for the AI crunch. Should finish it though, and it does. Here we go. At a boy, Jake. 4,000 experience. Ah, your talent is extraordinary. It is pretty extraordinary. I appreciate your comments. Hyper Potion. And we'll heal Jake, and I think that should be good. And let's throw Vulcan up top. And we'll test some things. Oh, water. Eh, well, we can always run. Hey, TM. Will-O-Wisp. Eh, could be better, but still, I'll take it. Well, Pokemon, let's see what it is. Is it a Starmie? It is a Starmie. Darn, I was hoping for something else. Just, just anything else. I just want to see what's in this area. I mean, just seeing Ursaring, that's pretty cool. What else is there here? Golem? Okay, well, kind of could expect a Golem here. Um, I, I, that's good enough. I'm just going to spray Repel at this point. So let's see. Repel is all the way up here. Okay. Cool! Let's keep moving. So we got a Sage guy. Let's not go that way yet. Okay, we got a Heavy Ball. I wanted to see what that was first. And, ooh. Do we get Rock Climb at some point? Or soon? That'd be really cool. To win the battle, you must fully tune in yourself as well as your opponent. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, Mr. Sage Bill. Wyatt. Okay, you have a spirit tomb. That's a little obnoxious. If we had a fairy type, that'd be a little bit nicer, but we don't. So, we're going to deal with not hitting it for super effective damage. We get a crit! Oh, yes! boy, Vulcan. boy, Golurk. Okay, we'll go to Jake. Probably our best bet. Go for Aqua Tail or Crunch. It'd work, too. Or we could go to our Charizard, but let's just go for the Aqua Tail. Get Jake up to level 74. Alright, cool. So, let's see. 74? 74? Nah, not enough. Okay, let's see. Dusknor. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Let's go to Phantom. And, yeah, we'll just... We'll go for the uh, Mega and then go for the Lunar Dark attack. Or Lunar Cannon, whatever. I might, so I don't know if we'll take it out, but that'd be cool if we could. Or maybe get another crit. Oh, I'll be asking for way too much, but it's, it's likely. I mean, Duskmar is pretty bulky, so I know it will live no matter what I use. So I just want to use Lunar Cannon. <laughs> so let's see. Oh! Phantom! Holy cow! Okay, 276 special attack with Mega Evolve. That's pretty devastating. Okay, Gengar. Uh, well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's not going to be living anything we do here. So, Shadow Ball. I mean, we took out a Mewtwo. We can take out a Gengar. <laughs> wow. Phantom. Phantom. So good. So good. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, we'll stick with Vulcan up top. And, I don't know, maybe, can we climb rocks? Nope. It looks climbable, but we cannot go that way. We'll fight this guy. This mountain holds many secrets, and it's the tall places, tallest place in Torn, and definitely the most mysterious. Good to know. Thank you very much for your fun facts of the day. Okay, here we go. Juggler Taylor, and he's got an Ambipom. I think we should be okay. Probably gonna go for Fake Out first turn. Most likely, no, it does not go for the Fake Out. Maybe a double hit, if it lives. Nasty Plot. Is it really that much of a special attacker? I really don't think it is. But Ambipom's gonna go down. There we go. And that is it for Taylor. You're not a bad battler, you know. Eh, I'm not a bad battler. Uh, that's I know that for certain. Let's see, there's nothing there. <gasps> it's Giovanni! Okay, that joke is very old at this point. 
I'm the strongest trainer in the region. Let me know how you... Let me show you how we take care of kids here in Torin. Alright, let's go. I want to see your method. Mr. Veteran Kador with an Escavalier. So, Bug Steel type. Perfect matchup. Flamethrower is going to kill it. That's not even going to be a question. See you later. Alright, so now, how do you treat children? <laughs> okay, so Absol. Well, let's go into Jake and use that superpower! <laughs> yes. Let's go. Oh, man. Superpower. Okay, so Sucker Punch. I knew that was kind of coming. Crits. Crits! That's not funny. Okay, this should die. And it does die. Because of the superpower! Oh, man. Jake, level 74. There we go. And now it's time for Mawile. Well, we'll just come out to our boy Vulcan. And we'll get that level up, right? Are we close leveling up on Vulcan? We are. So, we're about even in levels now in all of our Pokemon, which is very cool. We were even probably a couple episodes ago. And the next thing you know, the gym leader happened. And, yeah, basically, Thunderbolt and Pudding definitely gained a lot of levels. So... Alright, so Vulcan level 74, boom, there we go. Trying to learn Eruption, uh, yes, let's, we're learning Eruption. Let's look at this, 150 damage, and if we're at full HP, I mean, yes, if we're at low HP, then it's not going to be doing much, but even then, it's, it's 100% accurate, it's probably better, it's better than Blast Burn, let's be real here, because you have to recharge next turn, so I'm going to get rid of Blast Burn. And now we have eruption. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, just beat you in in the butt. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go this way. Hey, it's been a slow day today. Calrith, what? Shouldn't you be at work? I'd like to be, but some people of Amphitrite sort of have a different plan for my life nowadays. There's no time to explain. I've already seen the people of Celine City eyeing me too. They must have seen the broadcast Zenith put out. It's time to go. I'll explain everything on the way. I, uh, okay, let's get going then. And there's Darkrai. I knew it. I knew it. I knew Darkrai was following my awful sister around. I knew she was lurking it, lurking, luring it in somehow. But why? Why? Why won't Darkrai choose me? There's got to be something else that else going on. What does Diantha have that I don't? What does Diantha, Diantha, or Diana have that I don't, ha that Darkrai is after? Don't, d doesn't matter. I'm going to tail them. I'm going to bring her to justice for what she did to me that I'm going after Darkrai. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, man. For some reason, when I see Diana, I'm thinking Diantha. I don't know why. But anyways, yeah, Persephone, she's one nasty woman. I mean, if you've not seen, well, I mean, if you start, if you're, I mean, if you've been around, then obviously you know who Persephone is, but if you've not played yet or you just started playing, you kind of saw how nasty she was right at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, she was definitely trying to keep us from saving the world, and Mew helped us out, you know? Oh, come on. Okay, good. We didn't have paralysis hacks. Come on, Simiseer. Go down. Go down. You can do it. There you go. I'm cheering for the other, the other trainer's Pokemon to go down by itself. That's how it's supposed to work. Okay, Infernape. Well, I would keep in Jake, but it's paralyzed. And I really don't have a very good option at this point, but we'll go to Phantom. So, yeah, I probably have Mach Punch, Vacuum Wave, Infernape probably does, but we'll just, we'll just destroy it either way. But, yeah, Persephone. Whew. I'm telling you, the... The devs for this game really did a good job with the story. I mean, they're bringing all these cults into the game, and they're keeping them relevant throughout the entire thing. And, yeah, it's absolutely insane. Okay. So, let's see. Acrobatics. Mm, uh, yeah, that could be a little bit devastating. Uh, let's go for Shadow Sneak. Priority. Knockout. Cool. 5,000 experience. I like it. Heatmore, we'll stay in and just go for Shadow Ball, and that should probably kill it, because Heatmore, I don't know, I might be able to live, live something, I don't know. We'll go for Dragon Pulse, though. It lives, it's going to go for Stockpile. Alrighty, do that. Do it, just do it. We're going to go for the Shadow Sneak, take it out, who knows what this thing has, so there you go, boom. 
Phantom level 75? 75? Yeah, Phantom! That was fun. We should battle again sometime. Sure. Let's talk to you. Hey. My parents let me to go battle some changes. We should come back soon. Yeah, that's actually a terrible idea just to leave your child, you know, on their own. And, the, like, you know, just in a traditional sense, you know, just, you know, whatever. It's Pokemon world. They can have that. Maybe it's different in their world. Could be a little bit unsafe, you know, with all these cults and viruses going on and stupid people that fall for those stupid jokes or stupidness about medicines that end up brainwashing them. Hey, what's an X special defense 2? Does that boost your, your stat by like two stages? Yeah, yeah, sharply raises special defense. Okay, yeah. Whatever, I'm not gonna question the logic of all the trainers in the world of Pokemon and Torrent region and stuff, but actually I kind of already did, so I can't really take that back, can I? Eh, not really, but I really don't care anyway. So let's see, Ice Fang, super effective damage on the butterfly that is called Beautify, crits for days. I like it. Sun Flora, well, if you want the sun, I'll give you the sun. We're gonna go with that eruption. There you go. Let's see if there's an animation for it in this game. Nope, not really. Darn. I was hoping there would be one, but eruption crit. Oh, that's equivalent to 300 power with that crit. Whoo! That thing is just completely burned up into ashes. Okay. Mm, nothing there. Let's head up here, and we got this guy. Yoink! Is it supposed to be like a Easter egg, like zoink, like, you know, shaggy? Nah, nope, it's just a burglar. All right, Machamp, let's see. Probably has no guard as its ability. Watch it go for dynamic punch nonstop. That would be really, okay, it's going for bulk up, even worse. Even worse, but I think I can handle it at this point. Can we knock it out? Oh, yep, here we go, dynamic punch. And we're gonna be confused, because no guard, it's never gonna miss, even though dynamic punch is like 50% accurate. So I'm gonna predict a fighting type move, go into Phantom. Yep, there we go, cross chop, doesn't affect Phantom, we're gonna go for the priority, and that's gonna be gone. Now that would suck if that lived, but it didn't live, so we're good. So let's see, Weavile. Let's bring out Cleaver. Let's see. Weavile, what could it have? That's, it wouldn't do anything that's good against Cleaver, so. Let's see, Night Slash, get some crits, but it's not very effective. Drain Punch will knock this out, quad effective. Yep. And we're healed up, so basically it didn't even scratch us. Alright, so Pangoro. That is a dark type and a pretty good one, really. I'm just gonna go for close combat though, that should be enough to take it out. Yep, okay, good. So the defense fell! Yes, it did fall. Woo! Okay. Cleaver, level 75. 202 attack. Let's go. You couldn't just let me have my fun? No. Not allowed. Only I'm allowed to have fun. Yep, that's too bad. For you! Okay, let's see. We got this here. It really sucks that the first Augur disappeared. He was the gym leader of Gaia Town. Now he's gone. Nobody can get eight badges. Oh, don't you worry. I'll get my eighth badge. Okay, I'm calling it right here, right now. You just heard this. The Augur, he, like, he's gonna disappear. But we're gonna find him. We're gonna find the auger. We're gonna save the auger. And he's like, you know what? For my thanks, we'll have a gym battle. And then we beat him. He gives us the badge. Or even better, we save him and he just gives us the badge. I think that's a very logical thing that could happen. I don't know. It's possible. Icicle Crash, you flew up high. Oh my. Now, that should still work. Icicle Crash is coming from the sky to hit the dragon. Okay, so that's gonna be super effective, which is going to hurt. It, we live, and we're going to be quite effective to Salamence with no attack drop, so we should be fine. Yep, good. So, Salamence is down. 
And that is it for Haley. As an ace trainer, that really bugs me. I need competition. Yeah, I gave you competition. You suck. Okay. Uh, let's revive Jake. And then we'll use a couple hyper potions and we'll be all set. So, cleaver, boom, there we go. And let's keep moving. So, now we are inside Mount Rose again. Now, what the? Okay, dude, I want to fight you. There's not a lot of lakes or oceans in Torn. It makes me upset. Oh, poor you. Okay, Davey. You have a Quagsire. And that could be a little bit annoying. Because now I have to switch out to my pudding. And you're going to get a free hit on me. Which is a little annoying. So let's see, Mud Bomb, Muddy Water, even better. Okay. Don't lower my accuracy. Okay, so lefties. Okay, so basically doing no damage to us. Leaf Blade should knock down the Quagsire. Right, right, and it does. Okay, good. Add a boy pudding. Okay, let's see. So now it's time for a Dugong. Ooh, Dugong. Oh man, that's Neil's favorite Pokemon of all time. He loves pulling Dugong from his Evolutions booster packs. Uh, <laughs> that was oh my gosh, he had such a. Oh, oh my, just so many booster packs he opened up and got Dugong. And he absolutely hates this Pokemon now because of the TCG. Poor Dugong, so much hate. Can you take me sailing, please? Yeah, no, even if I was able to take you sailing, I would not take you sailing. Wait, how do you get... What's that? Ooh, there's an item there. Yeah, we're gonna go get that. Ultra Ball? Okay, I'll take it. Free Ultra Ball. Off screen, I did buy a few more Ultra Balls because I didn't know. If, you know, at some point, we're going to come across another legendary Pokemon. And when we came across Mew with barely any Pokeballs, that was a little bit uh, sad, to say the least. But at least we end up being okay and we actually caught it. But yeah, whatever. Here we go. That's why, you know, I got the Ultra Balls. Okay, so Kala with the Toxic Croak. Well, I don't know what ability this one has. We'll just go for Aqua Tail. It has dry skin. Yeah, okay, great. That stinks. Okay, well, poison jab. Don't really have an answer to that. Mm. I mean, phantom resists it, so let's just go to phantom. Belch. What is this belch attack? What does it even do? Every time I've seen it used, it failed. What is it? <laughs> Does it like poison you or something? You get sick and then you just want to... Then your Pokemon just dies instantly or something? I don't know. Shadow Ball should knock it out. Toxic Croak is extremely frail. Yep. It's pretty much a glass cannon. Let's see. Shiftery. Well, I can't stay in for that. We'll go with Vulcan! Vulcan! And we'll go for that explosion. So the sky is still dark, but dark enough for, well, it's light enough for a big eruption that he can see himself die. There we go. Much better. I like that. That made me feel so nice. <laughs> oh, Meganium. Oh my gosh. Another one of Neil's favorites. It's gonna die. Die. Die, Meganium. Die. Yes. Oh, Meganium. Not a fan. Okay, let's see. That's it for Kala. Welcome to Dayron. Dayron. I don't know how you pronounce that, but we are there, I guess. Yeah, we're at Dayron Town. Hey, that's nice. Welcome to Dayron Town, where everything is cold, wet, miserable, and nobody is happy here. Oh, that sounds like a place everyone wants to be, right? No. Let's see, let's talk to you. Such a waste of land, nobody likes it here. It's boring, wet, and tiring. Yeah, happens. Let's see. Let's talk to you. Oh, I do love a good Pokemon battle. So, let's see. Tell me, do you like to battle as much as I do? Yes. Why don't you take this? We get an air balloon. Ooh. That actually be, could, that could be pretty useful on Electivire. Even though we do have the magnet on him, I have a feeling this would be might, might be more useful. Wait, do we have an air balloon? Where'd it go? Do we already have an air balloon? Oh, we already had an air balloon. Oh, uh, well, I guess once you once you get hit, it pops. Eh, I forgot about that. Oh, well. 
I'm not sure if you get it back after that, so... Maybe that's why they give you two. I don't know. So let's see, there's this guy. Durant Tunnel was originally built as a mining outpost during the Golden Nugget Rush 30 or 40 years ago. It kind of evolved into a small town where after we mostly cleared the mountain of gold. Oh, can we get some gold? Can we get gold? Anything? Come on, please, please, please. <laughs> Anything? Ah, that's unfortunate. All right, let's see. I spent over, let's see, that is, that's a billion dollars on this farm. I set, I've been setting it up for the last past, past months and then I realized that there's snow here 365 days of the year and it'll never grow. My life is a mess and I hate myself. Well, that's too bad for you. I saw a Delta Pokemon the other day. What an incredible experience. It looked like a golem, but it looked like an ancient ruin covered in moss. Man, I wish I caught it when I had the chance. I wonder where it is now. Hmm, kind of cool. So you got an XP2. Cool. And the sign. I don't know what this is all about. A shrine dedicated to the late King Vezerain. He seemed to be a hero of the distant past. It details his conquest, including the formation of three whole regions. Okay, cool. Use another repel. Nah. Which of the fine weather conditions you can see yourself making your team around? Rain, probably. Oh, we got a damp rock. Okay, cool. Can we like... Oh, we got a mystic water. And a water gem. Oh, I want to have all of them. I didn't know they'd give you... Okay, well. Oh, well. That's fine. Let's see. What's... I was hoping we can get more, but I screwed it up. Okay. Oh, what a poor, unpleasant life it would be. Hey, you want to trade Pokemon? It's a Zora, which is pretty neat. I'll trade for anything. Oh, that's pretty cool. There you go, people. Hey, wow, there's a lot of gibble. Don't, don't you get, to, don't judge me. Oh, it's already happened. Sorry. But yeah, if you want a Zora, guys, this is where you get one. I'm not sure if you can get one otherwise, but if you can't, well, yeah, that's like, I mean, if you can't, that's where for sure you can get one. So just catch something stupid like, I don't know, Magikarp, catch it, and then trade it with him. And he's like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Jirachi used to live on the mountain. That's that's wonderful. I love Jirachi. I hope whatever, wh whomever caught it would free it so he could see it again. Okay, there's the taxi guy. And let's see, what else is there here? Ice crystals that form at a high altitude are quite fascinating. I can su suspect that if I can find some way of harvesting them, I'd be able to sell them for quite a lofty amount. That'd be pretty cool. Talk to you. It's so beautiful up here just like you. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Alright, thank you very much for your kind compliments. Let's see, we got Bug Catcher Guy. Do you think Bug Pokemon will ever be considered good? Mm, no, probably not. They're they're pretty bad Pokemon generally. I mean, if you use Scyther, then you're like, yeah, it's good, but no. Anything else? Eh, not really. Sorry. I uh, met the Augur yesterday. Super nice guy. Came off as a bit pretentious, though. Uh, uh, am I allowed to say that? Uh, yeah, I probably might forget that. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that guy is not so nice. The Augur. The, the new one that, yeah... I don't even know if everyone thinks he's still the auger, but yeah, what's this? The Rose Crater. Um, oh, you can get Pokemon up here. Oh, <gasps> Flareon! That's cool! Okay, well, hail. Hail is falling in this area? Okay, fair enough. Okay, Flareon's down, but wow! That's awesome! I did not know that was up here, obviously. But, okay, let's get out of here. There has to be some other things we haven't explored. I'm sure we have to go there next. So, we'll probably be heading there soon. Let's see. Um, we talked to you, right? Yeah, you're the one that gave us that item. Alright, okay. Did we, we didn't go in here yet. You're a trainer, right? Listen, I have a little secret. My great-grandfather was here during the old gold rush. I don't care for gold, so I'll give you a hint. It's near the doorway. Good luck. It's near the doorway. Or does it mean, like, inside? Near the doorway. Is it... Jake, get out of the way. I'm trying to find some gold! I need to find some of this stuff. The stuff. I need it. I need it! Maybe by the side of the house. No? No? Alright. Oh boy, okay, let's see. So we're gonna heal up real quick and then we'll probably end off the episode. I think that's it for this town, so. Yeah, that's wonderful. Hey, who's that lady? Just standing by the Pokemon Center. I think they could be useful. Oh no, okay, no, it's just you being you. Okay, fine. So, I think that's gonna be it this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for some more Pokemon Insurgents. See you guys later.